right, we're back at it here. A little bonus footage for you. We, we're back home, but uh, there's one thing we've got to do because we've been away from home for a week. And uh, if you've ever been away from home for a week, you would come back home and you think, oh God, what are we going to eat? I mean, it, it, you got to get your life started again. I mean, life goes on. So I forgot to the grocery store. Yeah, and uh, we're we're trying to do this little. Ah, uh, that's gonna bounce a lot. <laughs> trying to do this little thing with uh, putting the camera in a mount where I don't have to worry about wrecking the car while we're going down the road. You know. So going grocery shopping is just one of those things you have to do in life. I mean, it's just one of those things, but the, the, I don't know, how would you describe grocery shopping? I mean, mm -hmm. is there any, any way to really describe it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's his three favorite words. I don't know. Don't go when you're hungry. Yeah, right. Don't go when you're hungry. Always try to have lunch or dinner before you go grocery shopping. Now... This is a problem because we ate at like 11 a.m. before we left Roanoke. And here it is, it's 7.12 right now. So it's been, it's been like uh, eight hours since we, since we last ate. That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that hungry. Yeah, I'll, I'm trying not to be hungry trying to put my stomach out of my mind. Oh, let me tell you, there were the usual number of idiots on the interstate as we were driving. I mean, it seems like, it seems like always that slow pokes want to be in, in the left lane or lanes, depending on if it's like two or three lanes where you're driving. It's so awful. And we're, we're pulling on to Interstate 275 right now. So now things are gonna get interesting, watch. If I get angry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it be authentic. I'm a, I'm a diligent driver, I check my blind spot. Okay, Mr. Carr, are you gonna let me over? Yes, good. I don't think that I don't think that person back there realizes uh, that we're doing selfie recording right now, or maybe maybe they could maybe they can look up and see it right now. Is this legal? Is this legal? I, why is it illegal? I mean, what's? I mean, I'm not distracted. I'm focusing on the road. Am I not? Yeah. What What's your What's your most memorable incident of road rage that comes to mind? Uh, me driving? Yeah, you driving. Uh, oh, Lord, have mercy. Me being mad or somebody else being mad? Either. Either one. Well, I remember trying to get on I-40 from Hall of Fame after work back when we still lived out west. And... Uh, I was running out of out of lane, you know, and there was this tractor trailer that just would not get over, so I just gunned it and got in front of it. And he lay on his horn and I just I, I I've never i never done this before and I've never done this since. But I but I, but I rolled down the window and I flipped him the bird. <laughs> That's all you did was just flip him the bird? That's all I did. You the didn't truck would just not get out of the way. Plenty of room to get out of the way and just would not get out of the way. Because you know, there's not much of a of a merge lane coming off that exit. I got in trouble really bad one time that uh, when I was an intern, uh, I was driving a news vehicle, and uh, I got mad and uh, gave someone the finger, and uh, they called the station, and I got pulled aside one day and said, "Were you, were you doing this and that?" and uh, did that and I'm like yeah I did don't do that yeah they were right don't do that that's 
that's probably not a good idea when you're in a marked vehicle. <laughs> now, if I were in my car, that would probably not have turned out that way, you know. Although, I remember I was, whoa, hello. <laughs> I know I remember we were driving. Thank you, Greg. I remember we were driving. I was driving. You weren't there. I was driving in West Knoxville one time, and uh, some person pulled in front of me in the left lane, and I honked at them, and we stopped at the next stoplight. He got out of his car and started to walk back towards me. I panicked. I'm like, please don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. He stopped in his tracks and turned and went back to his vehicle. And I got to get over two lanes or I'll miss my turn. Then, I don't know, I guess I was about to get hated on just from one driver to another, not because I'm gay or anything, but people are crazy on the road. People are really, really, really crazy. You've got to be absolutely careful and alert at all times. I mean, Greg, you got ran off the road one time, but well, again, while driving a news vehicle. Yeah, you almost. Uh, well, it was just wet, and I, I drove and I lost control of the car. You, you lost control. I thought someone ran you off the road. No, no, they ran me off the road. I, well, maybe I'm just misremembering the story. But I remember having to rush to the emergency room in Johnson City at night, which well, I, I, there was nothing wrong with me. The station insisted I go to the, I go to make sure I'm okay. But but still, but still, I mean, I, the, the ambulance drivers didn't understand it either. The person, the person I love, is taken to an emergency room. Wouldn't you panic? Wouldn't you panic? Yes, I panicked. I'm like, oh my God, what has happened? You know, is Greg okay? And the car was in worse shape than I was. Yeah, I, I realized that. And it, it was, I realized that at the time, too. Because of the mismatched paint job after that, everybody at work kept calling the vehicle Patches. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I'd forgotten that. <laughs> but anyway, we're almost at the grocery store. We're going to go... Uh, take care of our domestic duty and uh, thanks for this little look see more comfort uh, anyway <laughs> I'm gonna edit uh, there <laughs> <laughs> anyway we're just about at the grocery store so we're gonna wrap it up uh, hopefully this will be the first in a series of car conversation videos because we have some very deep, fascinating car conversations from time to time when we're out driving around, you know, and uh, you won't see every conversation we have, but if we feel compelled to make a video, we will, you know, just to give you an idea of what typical a typical day is between us when we're out and about in town. So if you like this video, hit the like button, uh, comment down below, uh, they can contact us on social media by carrier pigeon I don't know how you're going to do that but anyway the tools are there, use them that's it so we'll see you next time right. bye, we love you you're always on my mind